Have you ever wanted to keep chickens but you didn't like the smell or all the workload for cleaning out the chicken stable? Well, that doesn't have to be the case and there's a way to do it without that. I'm going to show this in today's video. I'm Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Stay tuned and this might change your mind about keeping chickens. Every once in a while people come visit our farm and they go with me during winter time into the greenhouse where I was just standing at the intro and they kind of are hesitant to go in there and then once they enter they stand there for about 10-15 seconds and they don't say anything and look a bit surprised and then they say well there's no smell here <laughs> and the reason for that is is that we use a deep bedding method right here I am inside of our brooder where we raise our chicks and um, right now there are is a breeding flock in here behind me and you see I grew up with my dad having chickens and um, the worst thing was always when it smelled and when you had to clean out the chicken stable which was about uh, once a week well here you have pretty much no smell I don't smell any chicken manure here and you don't have to clean this stable out once a week not even once a month but once a year and the best part is that when you clean it out it all is almost ready to go straight on the garden it has turned into compost here is how I am standing here on about 50 centimeters of wood chips and wood shavings and this is called a deep bedding. You put this in before you put your chickens in there. This is about a foot to a foot and a half deep of um, these wood shavings. And then these chickens just go here and the manure gets mixed in. You throw some whole grains or something on the floor, they mix this in. And then over time, the manure, all the moisture in and everything will bind up with this. It'll turn it into compost. and. It'll start smelling sweet, like compost. I'm still inside the brooder house, and what you see here is the deep bedding that for over a year was with the chickens. I cleaned it out about two weeks ago, and I just scooped it. The chickens are right behind the camera. You can see them right now. I just scooped it over into this corner, and then I used water to make it all wet. I sprayed water on it constantly for about 20 to 25 minutes until um, until the water was coming out at the bottom and then it heated up and started burning and this is pretty much what I'm gonna do with it now before I'll put it out on the garden there's never been a smell to it a, or a bad smell from the chickens this smells like compost it's wonderful Now if I put my hand in here, it is still warm, but I want to turn it one more time and then it'll be ready to go out on the garden. This is how the deep bedding turns if you do it the right way. There are a couple things to consider when you do this. One is, you kind of need to have a rough idea of how much carbon material, the wood shavings you put in the stable, because um, the chickens uh, will only add a certain amount of manure to it you have too little or too much of manure then either it um, takes forever till it is at this point or um, it'll start swelling and generally if you have less than three square feet per chicken during winter time it's the manure load gets too much for the chicken to work it in but let me tell you that there are two days where I work on cleaning the chicken stable sometimes even one day a year the day where you put it in, about a foot, a foot and a half deep of wood shavings, and the day where you take this material out. So if you live anywhere close to houses in a city, neighbors are close, you don't want odor, and you don't have much time, but you still would love to keep chickens, well, this is the way to go. You have compost that is being produced as a byproduct, the chickens do it for you. You have no odor, and clean out the stable once a year, 
Well, it's not just a dream, that's what we do here, and we have done it with success. Now you might think, how many chickens does this work with? Well, you just saw my breeding flock of eight chickens, and in the intro, you saw a greenhouse where we will do this with over 300 chickens. This is a scalable um, system. So I hope you got inspired. I hope uh, you found this interesting. I'm super excited to be able to put this on my garden um, and you know, I know what's in there. There are no weeds in there. There are a few whole grains in here that start sprouting as this compost now, just because um, that's what I put in the deep bedding when the chickens, um, so the chickens work it a little bit. Anyways, if you found this interesting, maybe you got inspired to have a chicken flock, check out the other videos on our channel and subscribe to, to not miss a video. We really appreciate that. Um, I hope you will get chicken, it's the best thing you can do. Um, all your kitchen waste will go to them and you get free eggs. So thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.